Hey guys, welcome to the Mark and Mark Show. I'm Mark Young Jr. I'm Mark Young Sr. And this is the show where we talk about sports and hip hop topics. Our host Robin will ask us questions and me and my dad will debate over them. So get your popcorn, get your peanuts, and relax and get ready for the first episode of the Mark and Mark Show. Let's get it. Hey guys, how you guys doing today? Good. Great. Okay, let's jump right in. Well, first things first. Zion Williamson. He has been highly talked about since the, his selection as the number one overall pick to the New Orleans Pelicans. How do you think he did in his summer league debut? I think he did pretty good. Um, he had some problems, his jump shot, but besides that, I really think he did good. He played a limited amount of time from what he was expected to play. He was expected to play 28 minutes, only played nine, but still, 11 points in 9 minutes, pretty good. So, yeah, I think he did pretty good. He's going to be good in the league. But uh, just a few little problems he got fixed. Well, I think um, he realized from early on that it's, it's not going to be college or high school because every time he took a shot, it was either blocked or tipped. So, of course, he had a few dunks, but, um, but he, he's going to have to take an adjustment period because um, the NBA is a different, different beast. And uh, he's a good player, but I think that um, last night was a wake-up call. And um, I think um, with, with the injury that he got last night, I think it was more of a precautionary method. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing him, you know, see how he's going to prosper the rest of the year. But um, that's now, what I felt about it. Now, before I try to rain on your parade, no... I feel like there are tons of players who cannot shoot but can dunk like crazy and still do pretty good. Now, Zion, he was missing some shots that he should have, but he was freakishly athletic. And you want to know who else was just as, as, as athletic as him and, and misses most of his three-pointers? Giannis on to the Cooper. Yeah, but he's Giannis on Cooper. He's, he's, he's six eleven. It's a different I mean, story. I mean, we we're comparing a guy who's a, a, a all pro to a guy who's just come out of college. Yeah, Zion is good, but we're talking about. I mean, he's a long way from that. I mean, you know, he's he's the the length is definitely bothering him. This is not high school or college, and um, he did great. He did some good things. But I'm quite sure he sees now that um, the jump shot that everybody told him about in, in college, he sees now that it's going to take some work. He definitely going to have to get in the gym. Okay. I'm not sold on him yet, that's for sure. Okay. Well, only time will tell. Okay, okay fellas. Oh, we are getting in here. It's the heat of battle right now. Okay, let's talk about something else. Free agency. Free agency has been the thing this year. What do you think... Were the big? Who do you think were the big winners? Well, I think the big winner um, definitely was the Brooklyn Nets. Um, nobody saw them getting Kyrie and KD um, earlier. Everybody thought they were going to the Knicks. Unfortunately, they went to the, the Brooklyn Nets, um, which was big. I think that was big. I think um, I think the Lakers and I think the Clippers were also a big winner. But I think the Lakers. Um, by them getting Anthony Davis, they got two top five players on the team. So I'm the Lakers really, you know, they shined, and I think the Clippers they have a chance now to to compete for titles with with um, Kawhi and Paul George. Yeah, but I feel like uh, I feel like I agree with them with most of the things he said. But uh, I feel like the secret winner that nobody's really talking about. Uh, the 76ers, they got Al Horford, which, like, that's big for their team. They have a really, a, a potential start. He was a start on the Celtics. Really good, really good uh, bench player for them. Good bench center. So, I mean, so now they could give Joel Embiid some rest and have Al Horford play and make it where Joel Embiid does have to play all the minutes. And I feel like that's going to be huge for their team as Joel being the best player and I feel like now they get some rest and our four foot's gonna put up some numbers too but yeah I feel like that's a huge thing for the team 
You sold on Joel and B as being the best player on that team? Uh, yeah. Oh, I feel okay. like Ben Simmons is close, mm-hmm. but like Joel Embiid is just better. No. Yeah. So you think they have a team to, to make, you know, you think yeah. the, the moves they made were, what did you think? You think they, like that, that one move in general was like, they, they their team kind of stayed the same. Kind right. of the, well, I the, think Jimmy and Butler losing them, yeah. man, that's going to hurt, I think. That, that's hurt. a huge, that's a huge bad, but like, the team, besides him, like, only a few adjustments has have been made. Uh, Jimmy Butler played a, a big role, but like, I feel like the team can deal without him, so, seeing that they got Al Horford. So yeah, their team is not gonna be a, it's, it, it's not gonna be like a huge winner. It's not gonna be like the last season without Jimmy. Mm-hmm. But I think they're still gonna be good if okay. they didn't take an L mm-hmm. like some teams. Yeah, okay. I feel like uh, they they're kind of in that middle. They didn't win, but they didn't lose. But I feel like. Show. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Okay. Well, with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George joining the LA Clippers, do you think the Clippers now have a team that can win a title? Um, I would say they definitely have a team that could compete because the, the you talk about um Kawhi Leonard who's just won an MVP and won a title and he's won before. So I definitely think they have the pieces. To, to definitely compete for a title. They definitely be in a conversation, but I'm still not gonna put them over the Lakers just yet. I'm just not, I'm, I don't think they, I just think LeBron and AD have a lot to prove this year. And um, I'm just, I, I just, until I see the Clippers really just get to that level, which I've never saw that happen, then I'll believe it. But right now I'm, I'm, I'm not putting them above the Lakers. No. I'm just gonna say, Clippers before they got Kawhi and Paul George took a healthy Warriors team to six games with Kevin Durant, all of them not injured. They took them to six games in the first round without Kawhi. Still so, still, that that and the Warriors team there was better than this Lakers team. I'm pretty sure. You can say that Curry, Clay. Kevin, all of them were, are better than this Lakers team right now. Am I not right? Yeah, you're right, but do you think they took the Clippers for, I mean, I mean, who was taking them serious? I mean, let's be realistic. I mean, after, I mean, after two games, Warriors, like, you can see that the Warriors were actually taking them seriously. I mean, if, if you, if a game took you, if they took you to six games, you, you better believe after the Clippers won one, they started taking taking them seriously. Yeah, I mean that's that's true, but I still don't think it just has never happened. The Lakers have the tradition; they just been doing it for years, and they just a winning organization. I mean, it's, I just can't see it. I, I, it's almost like thinking the Browns are gonna win a championship. I just, I mean, they just some teams are just bad, and that's just what the Clippers have been bad all their <laughs> life, just bad. I mean. I mean, I kind of get that, but like, they have two, they have Kawhi, who has experience winning with the championship, and I feel like uh, him, he, he has that motivation, and ten, Kawhi can be like the leader of the team, Pete, Paul George, 
He hasn't been there, but he's still a great player. But and he and he's and LeBron has been his kryptonite for a long time. And I don't think I still think he's scared of LeBron until he showed me otherwise. Then hey. I mean, hmm. still though, I feel like Clippers have a better team, a better team. I feel like on. I give the Clippers the coach. That's about it. Coach, that's about it. But other than that. We'll see. Whatever the Lakers decide to put together. <laughs> okay. Well, do you think? Hey. Well, do you guys think they were the big losers in the free agency? Mm, no. No, they were huge winners. The mm. Clippers. Okay. Last question of the night. Who are you guys predicting that's gonna win it all? Hmm. Um. You've been heavy on the Clippers, so I mean, I'm quite sure that would be your pick. I mean, I'm am t- just saying that they're gonna. I'm just saying that they're gonna beat the Lakers, but the Nets are gonna be great. I mean, so you pre- you predicting the Nets to win it all next year? Yep. We're talking about the win it all. Yep. Man, get Lakers? this man, get this man. The the, the Nets without KD. So you tell me Kyrie is going to lead a team to the championship without KD and he had a team in Boston and he couldn't lead them past the second round? Are you kidding me? Yep. I'm saying that, yeah. I, yeah, man. You, I'm going to have to pull his last last name off. He's not going to no. be. <laughs> gone, bro. The Lakers are going to win it all, man. It's going to be the Lakers, Lakers going to win it all. I, and LeBron be MVP. That is no doubt about it. I have. I, the I have, Nets. You mean to tell me we've been sitting up here this long and you have the nerve to say the Nets? Yes. You might well say the Pelicans, man. <sighs> well, it looks like you're celebrating early, Mr. Mark Senior. Yes. What's up with the hat? Hey, well, just know if when the Nets if the Nets win, you come back to this video and just hear me say that the Nets are going. Hey, the Nets the, 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 yeah, I mean. For our audience out there, I'm sorry that this man is, I don't know what he, he lost his mind. This is the same guy who thought that the hat he's wearing looks nice on him. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to get to the hat. I'm done oh. with this character. Well, that was the Monkey Mark Show. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys. See you next week.